In downtown Sandusky, I found food and drink and a physical challenge at Paddle and Climb. Ryan, we're on the wall, clearly. We are. I'm ready to go. I don't know if I've ever done this. You said this is the first time for you in a while. It's been a while, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, you have a more difficult side, right? You, you help me out. I'm giving bit. you a little bit of a break here. Okay, That's I appreciate gonna it. Easy. It's going to be a little bit difficult. We're going to try and do this interview as we climb. Uh, what's the first step here? What do we got to do? Literally the first step. Literally, you're doing the first step. Okay, and the in. next step is use your hands and your legs as you're climbing up the wall and just feel comfortable. Go to where you think that you can climb and pull yourself up. And okay. the beauty of it is it's an auto belay system, which means if you let go or fall, no big deal. Just yeah. chill out, get to the bottom and do it again. Okay. When did you open this place? Uh, so Paddle and Climb is uh, five years old. Okay. And then Paddle Bar is three years old. How tall is this wall? This wall is 31 feet, so three stories. Originally from Sandusky, Ryan's love of nature and sense of adventure led him to Colorado, where he learned to climb. When I moved back here about 10 years ago, I kind of wanted to bring that to Sandusky. Yeah. And so it started out with just the shop, and then um, it kind of expanded into the wall and the bar and all this cool stuff. And, uh, you know, the, the wall's really busy on the weekends for families. Why? A lot of times you do get uh, mom and dad are having margaritas and yeah. the kids are up here hanging out. Should we kick off? And you then ready? You ready to do it? I'm scared. Do I just All right, like ready? Go? We're going to do it on three. We're just going to let ourselves cruise. Okay. Don't look down. Okay. One, two, three. Go. There you go. Nice. Should I try the more difficult one? I have more questions. We Let's do it if you fast. want. I'm down. That one. Oh, you said just stand up, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, yep, but yep. I'm not done. I got to try this. Got to do it again. I All right. Back I like it. How have you seen uh, Sandusky grow, especially this area? Uh, this building that we're in actually was uh, almost condemned when we got a hold of it. Really? Sandusky is amazing because it's such an amazing location on the water, the bay. Yeah. And this last 10 years, we've seen so much. All you got to do is touch the red button and you count. No, I was so close. We'll give it to you, that was pretty close. <laughs> My post-climb reward? A visit to the daiquiri dock and paddle bar patio. It's a vibe out on this deck with these daiquiris. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're going for. It's yeah. kind, of a, kind of a California, kind of Bahamas meets Sandusky, Ohio vibe out here. You got frozen marg? Yep, I got yep. frozen marg, and I think you have the red moon. Red moon, yep, I like it. We got a little color out here. I see the little sign here. Steamboat Springs, Colorado, pretty far away. Yeah. You're here, you left, you came back. What's it like? Was it completely different when you returned? Or uh, you were different, I assume? Yeah, I mean, I was different. I was out there for a while and, and lived in Colorado for a little over 10 years. And I saw an opportunity to move back here, not only be close to the family, but also uh, help change a town. And in the last 10 years, there's been a lot of people that have uh, really uh, embraced the Renaissance here. To you and I and so many people around here, we're used to Lake Erie. We're used to the Great Lakes, even up in Michigan and things like that. But I was listening to a national radio show recently, and someone had called in talking about Putin Bay, and the host of the show is from California. California and they're like, there's islands in, you know, Ohio, what? It's not just farmland? Like we know it and kind of take it for granted sometimes, but it's becoming more and more well known. I think so, yeah, I think you're right. And, and the fact that it's, uh, you know, that it is on the Great Lakes is a different take because fresh water, but um, actually a quick, quick analogy there. I brought a friend of mine to work for Travel and Leisure Magazine. Mm -hmm. And so he traveled the world. And I said, you're gonna come to Ohio. He said, come on, man, I'm here. you know what? Yeah, yeah. I said, just give me a favor. And he came, came visited, went to the islands, stayed in Sandusky. And uh, he comes back every year now on his own. And he just, he just, because he, he was, he's like, I cannot believe this is this close to, he yep. lives in Manhattan. He's like, I can't believe it's so close. Yeah, yeah. And so we're seeing more and more of that. Yep, yep. Good food, good drinks, physical activity yep. if you want. You guys do that on the weekends, right? What we just did? Yep, yep. The wall's open on the weekends. We're by appointment. Then the rest of the place is the, the bar and Daiquiri Dock is open every day and we do uh, live music and it's a, it's a good time. Food truck, egg Food rolls, truck is open variations. all the time. Yep. Yeah, yep. love yep. it. I'll try some of that later. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you for having us Absolutely. on. Appreciate it, Ryan. One Tank Travel with Tim McMahon is presented by Shores and Islands, Ohio.